Welcome to a week in the life vlog. If you saw my last vlog, that was yesterday. I did mention that it's been hectic, so I'm just gonna attempt to film this vlog. I don't know when I'm gonna edit this, but let's go. Campus is dead because the rest of the uni is on winter break, but I have trimesters for my masters, so absolutely do not love that for me. This morning I have a six hour class and then I'll do a bit of study before I head off for training. And this is my last, this will be my last week living up the street from uni in the share house I'm in. Yeah, it's just been a shit go in the share house that I've been in and it's just been a mess. Long story short, I have to leave this week. I had two weeks notice and nowhere to go. And oh, luckily, Lou, an amazing woman from the track for maths, is going to be taking me in because I had nowhere else to go and she's a legend. So I have uni Monday to Friday this week. Simon's to be getting done, packing to be doing and training and just a lot on. But I will add that life is really, really good and I'm really, really happy. <laughs> Damn, canvas looks sexy right now. Oh, I am so tired. I'm just currently in the library for a few hours before training. That class cooked me. It felt like, sorry, I don't know where to look when I'm iPhone vlogging. That felt like 12 hours, not six. This lighting ain't it. And it is time to leave for training. We had time trials on the weekend, which we have at the end of each block. So we are starting a new block today at training. Holy fuck, I might die. Our session is 1K, 1K, 8, 6, 4, 2. Send me help. I am very tired. Related to the fact that I have had seven hours sleep every day for the last like two weeks and I need nine. There's just a lot going on at uni. That's been on my mind, so I've been finding it hard to like sleep through the night because my mind's going. And then also just with the stress of having to find somewhere to live. Um, on top of all of that. Uh, also just the excitement of good things in life too. But anyway, I also had a follow-up appointment for so many things. So I saw my doctor um, at the uni and I got follow-up blood tests for my iron. This is how I fucked my ca last camera. Okay, so at the start of the year, oh, sorry. basically I had my iron checked again to see if I was still iron deficient and I was still iron deficient despite adhering to my medication, not medication, but my iron supplement. Now I have to get an iron transfusion, which I'm scared for because I don't want to um, have a needle in my arm for half an hour, however long it is. And also I know someone who's had a permanent like stain, discoloration from the iron transfusion, which is like a rare thing that can happen but anyway I'm also very keen to feel what it feels like to not be iron deficient you know energy vibes so uh, tired high incoming is it possible to have tired highs every single day that doesn't seem healthy so hopefully I can put together a good training session and smash out these <laughs> cooked wraps I'm like a little bit ready to die like I'm preparing that it's gonna be a hard session. Oh my god! Whenever my favorite song comes on, I'm like, surely that's like Sing today, my throat is not it. She's 
not feeling spicy and fresh. A little update with the fact that I have a period again. So exciting. If you saw my last vlog, that was yesterday. So it was really fucking fun and yay vibes. Yay vibes? Shut the fuck up. Anyway, I am going to do a Q&A period video because I've been getting a lot of DMs and messages about what it was like and just a lot of things. So stay tuned for that. Something that's really like, obviously the whole thing is just amazing and positive, but something that I've been really thinking about, another benefit, whenever I'm training now, well, it's been like not two weeks yet. Tomorrow will be two weeks since I got my first period. At training, I just feel like mentally I have this edge where I'm like, it's not an edge, but I'm more just like, I don't have that thought in my head when I feel shit that, oh, I'm compromised, not compromised, but that I'm like, oh, you know, I can't push or I can't stick with this person or be stronger because I'm still weak. I don't have a period. But now I'm like, I know I have full physical health that I'm, if I'm starting to fade at training, I'm like, but I have a period and I'm strong and I can actually be a weapon. Like I'm going to, I don't know if I'm explaining this properly, but um, yeah, I just feel really good about it. And when I think about it at training, I'm like, fuck yeah. Like I'm so strong and healthy now that I can push and not be worried about have been compromised at all by that, so yay! He's a reason for the fake smile, so he won't see. I bet she's beautiful. I got to live with her. He's a reason for the tear drops in my guitar. Do you ever think of me when you lie? Lie down in your bed, caught up in the thrill of it. attempting to film an Instagram like little reel vlog. Hopefully that works well and this is it. <laughs> Welcome to a day in the life vlog. Today's a Tuesday and usually I start class at 8.30, but today's class was moved a little later. So I had time in the morning to scoff my oats before heading to the gym. I literally scoffed them down in like one minute and then I headed to campus and straight to the gym. So Tuesdays and Thursdays are my gym days. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, I have running. So I like to smash out my gym sessions before class. So I have plenty of time for studying and doing all the extra uni work outside of our classes. Classes are six hours on Monday to Thursday, except Tuesdays, which is three and a half hours. And then Fridays, we usually have a clinic or something else on to do with uni so there's a lot of work to do i am studying a master of nutrition and dietetics so i smashed up my gym session and then it's time to head to class today i met some of my uni friends before class to do some work before we started and on the way i did smash some up and go please sponsor me so i met my friends and then we did a little bit of work on some of our assignments and then we headed to class and in class we were learning about celiac disease and I had my lunch, we also got some apples and then after class I headed to the library to spend a couple of hours there. I usually try to spend 8 to 10 hours doing uni work in the day so if we have a 6 hour class then I'll do a few more hours on top of that. I had a protein bar and on weekends then I'll have the whole day to just do work because we won't have a big class. Then I headed to HBF and we had our deep water running pool session, it was incredibly cold. But it's a good time and then I headed to my boyfriend's house for dinner and he literally had two litres of milk with dinner because he's a menace. 
So the reason I stayed at Michael's house on Tuesday was because on Wednesday I had a uni day at the hospital and he dropped me there because it's not far. It's not far? It is far from where I was living at the time that I filmed this. So I was extremely hella tired. <laughs> it was not a good night's sleep, but that is okay. So I was in my um, nutrition and dietetics polo because we were in the hospital, so we had to wear our uniform and we had a six hour class we did get some breaks with lots of different lectures and tutorials on pediatric nutrition um, we also had to taste pureed food and baby formulas for infants with allergies um, the baby formulas were like different types of yeah they were disgusting i bought myself a falafel wrap and a coffee because i didn't have a lunch packed and then um i got the train back with a bunch of people to michael's and then he picked me up and we went off to training when i say a bunch of people i mean all the uni gals i was sick of my filming i was so tired i was honestly so tired and dead and then <laughs> i was just like gonna wait to see if you like said anything <laughs> oh it's like <laughs> so on Wednesdays we're on the track but because this was early in winter off season we were still on the hills on the trails getting some yeah hard runs done so good it's been intense i'm very happy about it on thursday i usually have our medical nutrition therapy class from eight also i have this like pimple that just like appeared here overnight which will not that for me our medical nutrition therapy class from 8 30 till 2 30 but because yesterday we were in the hospital all day for that unit they've swapped this week our stats unit which is usually online on wednesdays to today so today i have online stats i hate the stats but it's a research unit actually um but i'm so glad it's online today so i have a couple of hours of online class this morning then i'm working on a group assignment with someone for a few hours either online or like i might just if they're in the library drive down to the library because it's like down the street and then after that i'm gonna try and smash out hours of uni work and then i have a gym session to do as well so that's gonna be thursday having some lunch that I had packed to take to the library but I have literally not moved and now I'm working on this group assignment I'll head to the library later to do like three other assignments that I want to try and spend time on today <laughs> situation and I've had to pay two weeks rent even though I'm leaving on Sunday and I had to pay for the next two weeks and the wi-fi has been cut off so I'm like trying to hotspot myself to do all this uni stuff and it's just not working right now it's all just cut out that's why I'm filling you guys in while I try to connect <laughs> I drizzled it in olive oil. Slay olive oil. We did this like olive oil taste testing at the end of class. And it's so fresh and so good. And wow. Alright, is my Friday not work? Um, I'm gonna have to go to the library.
Fridays. We usually have either a clinic for eight hours, study day or some other uni related thing on. Today we have this site visit. Yeah, so today we have a site visit for this facility that we have to do an assignment from assignments about for food services oh the sun's finally coming out so this morning i'm treating myself and i'm gonna do a couple hours of study at a cafe on campus and buy myself some brekkie so that's what i'm gonna do now for a few hours before i head to this site visit which is for a few hours and then training this alvo Veggie wrap, please. Yeah, thank you. session of the week. It's our first week not at the beach today. Oh my god, training we 
stomach is done. Completely fried. I'm so fried. I have a big day ahead with packing up the car to move tomorrow. And I also need to go to the library and study. So I was gonna go home and pack and shower and then just hit the library for the rest. Hit, hit, hit the library. Pack, shower, then hit the library for the rest of the Arvo slash evening. But it is raining and I kind of just want to start smashing some work and then pack as a break because then I'll like not feel as stressed. So I think I'm going to go to the library, just in my training staff, whatever. Now your bangs are you cut out a piece of me and now I bleed internally left without you. I literally ended up studying since I got home and I have been procrastinating packing the car by studying for the last few hours and now it's seven and it's really cold and it's rained again. So I'm going to force myself to spend like 20 minutes to half an hour packing and loading the car a little bit and then I have a shower. Anyway, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow last night in this menace of a share house. This room I packed all my stuff and it didn't take me too long so I also spent a couple hours studying um, it's now one o'clock and Michael's gonna come over and help me move everything so I have to make one trip because I can make one if we have both our cars um, and then then I'll be moving all my stuff and settling to lose who is an athlete that is taking me in and I'm yeah so lucky and grateful and she's a legend My disgusting haircut. What's up? Imogen's vlog watches. I'm not posting, it's not vlogging right now. You're not vlogging? No, well, I'm I'll vlogging. <laughs> this is a new segment on Imogen's vlogs called Michael's Vlogs. <laughs> this so, is my So there you go. Imogen's here. She's out here just brushing her teeth. And there you go. <laughs> Actually, I forgot to do Whoa. an outro of the last vlog I did. I didn't end it when we I moved out, so I ended with me saying Michael's gonna come and help me move stuff, and then I forgot to do, film anything after that. So you can end it now. So it's a week later. A week later, I've got a terrible haircut now, and we're at Imogen's new place, Imogen's temporary place. My nah, arm, my arm, my arm gets tired. I jumpers have no strength in their arms. You can't do a single pull up. Do you have a challenge right now? That is Wait, not no, true. Wait, no, do you have a challenge not now, not now? That is not true. I'm under fatigue, that would be unfair. How would you end a vlog? How would I end a vlog? Keep an eye out for Michael Chrissy because he's going to be the Olympic champion one day. Oh. See ya. <laughs> I'm actually going to end it there. <laughs>